This tutorial covers how to create the list of tables and list of figures, as well as apply captions to tables and figures in Microsoft Word. As with the table of contents, each of these lists begins on a new page with a 2 inch top margin above the heading. The page numbers are aligned with the right margin, and the text within this list should be the same font type and size as used for your manuscript's text. To insert the list of figures or list of tables, we go to the References tab and use the Insert Table of Figures tool. However, before we can do so, we must apply a caption to each table or figure throughout the manuscript. One way to do this is to methodically work through the manuscript, applying a caption to each table and figure as you encounter it. Click on the figure to select it, then go to the References tab, Insert Caption. Here, you want to type in your caption name in the caption box. Change the label to figure or table as needed. And for the position, make sure it is either above or below the selected item depending on what is appropriate for your field of study. And then click OK. Make sure to delete any text that you have manually typed. And then update the font as needed to match your manuscript font type. You can either update the font each time you insert a figure or table caption, or you can wait until you have inserted all of the figure captions and then update them simultaneously. We'll come to that in a moment. Move to the next figure and repeat. You can cut the figure text, click on the figure, go to References, Insert Caption, paste the figure text in the caption box, Make sure to choose figure or table as needed below selective item and click OK. Some fields of study number figures and tables consecutively throughout the document, while others number the figures and tables by chapter. To number by chapter, click on the figure, insert caption, and select numbering. Here's where you can select Include Chapter Number. Before you do so, make sure that you have applied heading styles to all of your chapter titles. See the tutorial on Table of Contents and Heading Styles for more details. After you've selected Include Chapter Number, click OK, Close, and then your figure captions will be updated per chapter. This one is figure 3.2, meaning chapter 3, figure 2. To update all of the font for your figure captions, select one caption, right click, and choose Styles. Then select all text with similar formatting. This will simultaneously select all of the figure captions throughout your manuscript. Then you can go to the Home tab and update the font and size and color as needed to match your manuscript text. After you have applied captions to all of your figures and tables, you can return to your list of figures and list of tables to create each list. First, make sure to delete any text that you have previously typed in. Then go to References, Insert Table of Figures. Make sure to change the caption label from figure or table, depending on which list you are creating. Make sure that the page numbers are right aligned, that will position them at the right margin, and that your tab leader is set to the dots. 
Then click Modify and Modify again. Here is where we can adjust the font style of our list of tables and list of figures. This, for this manuscript we are using Times New Roman 12 point and double line spacing. Click OK and again to insert the list of figures. Then repeat for the list of tables. Delete any text that you have manually typed. Go to Insert Table of Figures. Now change the caption label from Figure to Table. Again, make sure that the page numbers are right aligned with tab leaders. Click Modify and Modify if you need to adjust the font style to Times New Roman. And click OK to insert the list. Once the list has been inserted, if you have long lines that wrap onto a second line, you may need to change the indentations. Select the list and then go to your paragraph options located under the Home tab. Click on the arrow to expand the paragraph dialog box and then under indentation, change your right indent to 0.3 and under Special, apply a hanging indent of 0 0.25. This adjusts the stop point of your long lines to prevent them from running into the page numbers at the margins, and it also indents the second and third lines that you may have for each entry. If you make further revisions to your manuscript, you can always update the list of tables or figures. By selecting the list, right-click and go to Update Field. Here, you can choose to update entire table to import any new tables or figures that you have created, or simply choose Update Page Numbers Only. And this concludes the tutorial on tables and figures.